Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at the Scorpio and Gemini relationship. I did meditate on these cards. I didn't really do a pre-shuffle, but I shuffled. Like, I really shuffled out of shuffling. Um, well, so we'll just take a look and see what's going on with this energy. Uh, what I'm seeing right now is... I'm seeing that somebody may have taken a break. Okay. There was something that they recognized. This is a third eye chakra. Right? So, at this point, there's somebody in this connection that's moving with discernment. You know, they're moving and trusting in a higher power. They're kind of leaving things to the universe. They saw some stuff, and now they're moving wisely. They're like, all right, I'm going to sit back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to observe, but mostly I'm going to heal. I think this may have been a realization that it is time to heal from something with this connection. Sorry, cards all over the place. This is a healing card. So there's something that they have to heal from. It was probably the healing from something that happened, obviously, in this connection, right? But maybe having a hard time doing it, and maybe they're stuck. I feel like they're trying to take some kind of action, but they just are not there yet. As a matter of fact, they actually see them... There's some kind of conflict. This is win or lose. So there's conflict here. So maybe there's still some fight left. That's what I'm getting out of somebody in this connection. It's just a really sad. I'm trying to heal. I know there's conflict, but I think I might be willing to fight. Now, we have another energy here. And the way I'm looking at this... They know they messed up. Don't ask me why I feel that way. I just do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, darkest, the, the, the darkest fears are actually their own. They did some things that they probably would would not have done to somebody like whoever, is in, whoever else is in this connection. I think they did some really shady stuff. And I think they actually became afraid of themselves. That's how they just flipped, right? I think at some point, Gemini probably just kind of let the dual personality take over. And I think the dark side may have taken over for a little bit. I almost feel like there's an acknowledgement that there was not much given and receiving nor harmony in this relationship. Right? And forgive me for sounding past tense, but you could still be in this. You guys could still be fighting. It says win or lose if somebody's holding on to something. But it says giving and receiving. There was not much given on this person's end. All they really did was take. So there was no there was no balance there. There was no harmony. You know? The funny thing is this person would sit and see you in need and they still contributed nothing. Yet. There's something here. Where there's a new beginning, like still contemplating a new beginning, still seeing some potential in this connection, even after all that was done. It does show that there's some kind of conflict, right? There's change, there's instability. And we know that. We can see that because something, something was acknowledged that came out. The darkest fears realized, and then we have the throat chakra. We, then we have strengthening bonds. I think somebody's holding back their communication, like they're not saying anything. Whoever this is, this might be Scorpio, is in a healing, and some kind of, they, 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 they may have seen something. Something may have told them to take a look, or something may, may have been brought to their attention. So I'm not sure, I don't even know if you guys, I don't know if this particular couple is together or if you guys are in separation right now, but it looks like Scorpio is trying to heal from something. But Scorpio still seems like, even though there's conflict, I still want to fight. 
But then I see that the other party here may have done something that was shady, or Scorpio did something to you, or there was no giving and receiving, nothing was even. But yet you're still questioning whether or not you want a new beginning. Is there any opportunity here? I see that there may be not much communication, if any. However, it does say that you guys still want to bond. You want to heal the part where there's there's no giving. You want balance in the relationship. So strengthening bonds, that could be something that it falls under. Something that you're desiring, I think. Because this person is still a big part of your heart. So strengthening bonds. I feel like maybe... I, hmm, so who... Boy, I'm not... Okay, um, let's try this again. I'm trying. Okay. Strengthening bonds. When I look at this, sometimes I kind of feel like maybe she's trying to become one with nature or preparing herself to go meet somebody. She's walking towards her new beginning. The trees are blooming. The sun is coming up strengthening bonds I think you're still I think you're still attached to this person in spite of everything you still want to be with them this is a heart chakra this is love this is forgiveness this being compassionate this being generous hmm win or lose I want to try this again because I love you. Mm. I know what I see. My darkest fears realized. I can't talk to you. I can't even. There's too much. I can't even. I can't deal. There's something I have to heal from. I got nothing out of this relationship. Yet I still want to strengthen my bond with you. Win or lose, we're going to try. Somehow I feel like you guys, if this is not the case, <coughs> sorry guys, if this is not the case, I feel like eventually this is going to, at some point, both you guys are going to acknowledge your feelings because you guys got to want to be together if you are separated. Let's take a look and see if we can, ancestors, please, please clarify whether or not uh, Scorpio and Gemini, if this, are they in separation? Ancestors, please clarify if they're in separation. Ancestors, a Scorpio and Gemini in separation. Ancestors, please provide clarity. Okay. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion. Yeah, y'all want to be together. Union. Y'all might be getting engaged. Somebody's thinking about engagement. It came out upright. Let me get water. I guess this speaks to the acknowledgement of love. Like, I can't talk to you right now, but I love you. After everything you did, I love you. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Ancestors. So maybe you guys are you're engaged in a committed, obviously, I mean, this is a relationship, but it says maybe you guys are together still. Maybe this is just the, the feeling of what's going on in the house for some of you. For other people, you could be in separation. I get a feeling of separation here. <coughs> I'm sorry. I also get a feeling of holding on at all costs, too. But the part about forgiveness, that's nice. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay, so maybe this person is realizing or you guys are realizing that you're in love with each other after some kind of, some kind of tower, tower movement. I think somebody probably had a few options, many options, decision, unconventional, String along, one night stand. Okay. 
we did ask what are you healing from a decision that was made that was unconventional okay maybe somebody had a one night stand and it came out maybe somebody decided to go with somebody else it does say decision it was unconventional okay so you probably probably had like a really conventional sort of thing going on and maybe because of the options somebody perhaps was tempted who knows ancestors one more <coughs> Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss, okay? I think with this, it feels like no matter what happened... <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. No matter what happened, you can end up with this person. It's up to you whether or not you want to do that. But it looks like both of you guys kind of wouldn't be together in spite of whatever happened because you love each other. This is about the, like... The heart shock, the stability. It's like you know that there's true, there's a true foundation here. You know that there's a bond. Even after conflict. And even after you rocked my world and changed everything for me. I still have a bond with you. <coughs> Sorry. I still have a bond with you that I just can't ignore. And it equates to I love you. Let me see what else is going on. These ancestors. Please give me cards to tell me more about this situation. Provide clarity and polish the reading. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess we got to look at this. New love. A new person or steered your romantic feelings. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see. New love. Wedding. Could you guys be a new couple? Could you be a newer couple getting to know each other and just starting to realize little things about each other? So maybe this is a new relationship. Maybe you're looking to get engaged because it says eternity. Third eye darkest fears I can't talk about this new love wedding did somebody marry somebody else did you hear that somebody else got married to somebody else ancestors tell me more about this many options a decision unconventional string along one night stands Engagement, partnership, win or lose, new vitality, I love you, heart chakra, engagement, engagement, new love, wedding, hold up, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic love life, new love, a new person staying in your romantic field, ancestors, tell me more, let go of control issues, allow this situation to play out naturally, I feel like somebody, this is somebody's connected somewhere else. I feel like this, <clears throat> I feel like somebody, some, somebody else is involved here. Hold up, I guess we're going to have to, well, we should have known this. I feel like somebody else is involved here. I don't think this is just, we did ask the question, what are you healing from? You could be healing from uh, somebody in this relationship going off and finding somebody else and actually marrying them. But they still love you. Win or lose. Heart chakra, strengthening bonds. It's like they may be with somebody else, but the bond between you guys is... But at the end of the day, this person was still... 
Oh, uh, they ain't give nothing. They didn't pay nothing. Ancestors. I'm using these. Ancestors. Tell me about this relationship, ancestors. Ancestors. Ancestors, please tell me about this. Is what is going on with this reading? How many people are involved here? Kisses, unconditional loving. You guys definitely love each other. New love, it could be you falling in love all over again, having a wedding, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Let go of control issues. There's nothing you can do. You have to let the universe take over. That could just be it. <clears throat> but I want to find out if there's somebody else involved in this connection besides Scorpio and Gemini. Ancestors. Ancestors. Sit down for this one. Ancestors, please give me some information on this connection. Is there somebody else in this scenario? In this dynamic? Who else is in here? Who's impacting the dynamic of this relationship? Is there somebody else here? Alright, two came out. The Hermit and the Wish card. Okay, so the Hermit came out first. There could be a Virgo somewhere in here. It's the card of wisdom. Okay. And then we have the card of wishes coming true, the star. Is there anybody else in this connection? It could be Aquarius. Knight of Swords. Spontaneity. That could be that could be uh that could be Gemini. Two of Swords. King of Cups. Emotional withdrawal, choices, memories, fate, unity. All right. <sighs> all right. These cards all speak to choices. We have the Hermit card. We have the card of wishes. That's the star card. We have two of swords where there's some difficulty with the knight of swords. This is probably Gemini in this reading. King of Cups. I think that represents Scorpio, who's very understanding in this situation, but there's some emotional withdrawal. Okay? Somebody's worried about their money. Somebody does financial losses because of this, probably because somebody took off. You got Seven of Cups. So this is, again, choices, but not sure what you necessarily want to do. Six of Cups. You're having nostalgic memories about people. But fate... Fate and unity. They're reversed. So there's definitely some love here. I'm convinced that there's somebody else here. Who else could be here? We already have. We have air. We got cups in us. What this reading is about. We do have pinnacles here. So that could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. More cups. There's a lot of love here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be in there as well. Hmm. Okay, I will be trying to figure out where I can put these so you guys can actually see them. Hmm, I read all weird, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Well, there's nowhere for me to put them. But you know what I will put them? I'm going to put them right over here so y'all can see them. Just, you know that they're down there. Ancestors. Ans nope. I'm taking it. I didn't ask my question. Ancestors, please help me polish off this reading. Please help me understand what's going on with this reading. Help me polish it off. I know it looks like Scorpio may have found out something. I think that Gemini may be acknowledging something about him or herself. Trying to come back and start something new, but not sure if they really want to do that. <coughs> Ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who, pr who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Yeah, that's again about, that's about the heart. Like being honest and acknowledging what you want. And fixing the things like having shadow work to do that needs to be fixed. That could be part of it too. The only thing I am sure of, another one falls out, divination. 
embrace the powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see the current situation with crystal clear clarity. Crystal clear clarity. You love this person. Y'all love each other. So, all right. Let me see. Let me see what's going on here. I'm going to look back at these tarot cards, right? Because I want some clarity. Somebody's taking a step back. This is starting not sure if my wishes are going to come true. Difficulties. Typically, that has to do with challenges, fears, and decisions. Okay. There's a decision that needs to be made. That, is, to me, is air all over it, obviously. About the King of Cups, who's so understanding. Having some emotional withdrawal. I see them walking away from me. Choices. I have a choice to make. I have these nostalgic memories. This is fate. I think the question is, how am I going to do it? I think you guys are in separation. How am I going to do it? I got this feeling this person has not really communicated all that they feel to you, maybe. I feel like I feel like you're gonna a new person has sparked a romantic feelings I think that if you are dating somebody they might know it I feel like this is one of those things where it's if they propose to you it's because maybe they knew that you were I don't want to say moving on. Well, moving on. How else can you say it? Maybe they noticed something about you. A new person has sparked romantic addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Maybe this person had a habit. Maybe there's somebody in this relationship that has a habit that is not nobody's fond of it. But let go of control issues. You let go, let the universe go. And all of a sudden, once you find love, I can't really say that new love, wedding. Maybe somebody proposed to you and they found out. Or this is just your person has changed and they're coming to propose to you. Because they have unconditional love for you. And they made a choice. Out of all the choices, out of all the choices they chose you. They had a ton of options. And it's also just telling you to keep a positive mindset about what you want. I think you guys are in separation. I think you're in the midst of... I think you're acknowledging that you love each other. And then all this other stuff will follow. Aww. It's going to be a new page. New experiences for you. That's Page of Pentacles. It's going to be a new experience for you. It's going to be like new money. Stuff like that. The hard work is going to pay off. Alright guys, that's all I got for you. Tell me what this is about. Because I think... I ain't going to talk slick. I know I shouldn't be doing that. Mm -hmm. Maturity. Somebody took some time and I think you're coming into a new person who is mature. I felt that. Let me see which one fell on the ground. But that speaks to the emperor and new love. This new love, this could just be a new improved version of the person you were dealing with before. Or maybe you guys took a little bit of a separation. Or maybe this person sees you moving on and they're not really liking what they see and they're going to hop on it and move. Because it does say new love, maturity. Now, your new love could be a mature person as well. Could be a little bit of an older gentleman, more set. Maybe that's what the other party's afraid of. You never know. Let me see if I can move that over a little bit. Yeah, you never know. Okay. All right. So, it looks like you guys still want to be together. Well, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Tell me how this plays out. If this is a new love that you meet... And you have somebody coming back for you, or did this person have a habit? That's something else. What kind of habit did they have that was affecting the love life? How did it affect your relationship? Did you finally let go of the universe, or are you slightly still holding on?
freedom, harmony, betrayal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought that. All right, so that tells me that there was some kind of betrayal in a relationship, and that's what you're healing from. Okay. Betrayal, seven of swords. So, yeah, somebody somebody stepped out. And that's what the healing is about. And when you reconnect with this person, because I don't think I don't think you guys, I think you're I think this person is not by you right now. I think this person is a little bit of a ways away right now. I feel like they might be in, in a country area. Or somewhere where there's... I don't know. They got green grass. Somewhere where they got grass, right? Like a neighborhood. A real one. <laughs> a manicured one. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. They just they live they don't, they live in something that's different from you. Like you might live in a house and they live in an apartment that got like grass all around it or something. Something like that. So you guys may not necessarily be dealing with each other right now, but there's this connection where it's win or lose. So one of y'all took off with somebody else and probably married them, or you have romantic feelings for somebody else. And that person had an addiction. And then something having to do with marriage. So I'm trying to figure out how long this separation was for. Because I don't think you guys were married, obviously, because the engagement ring came up. However, this doesn't mean that this person didn't marry somebody else while you were in separation. That's what it looks like. And now it's like, let go of control issues. I think this person is going to come back and, and um, propose to you. Because there definitely is unconditional love, but this person had a ton of options. And they probably looked at you like you were one night stand at first. <laughs> Who knows? However, you come out with the ring and abundance. Ask for help. Alright. That's what I got for now, if this is what you want. Or you could just run for the hills like normal people. Alright. Like normal people would run for the hills, like... Ooh, you did that? Oh, you betrayed me? Word? <laughs> Good luck with that. But, you know, I guess if the ring is big enough, said ring, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that goes for some people. All right, guys, ask the cards a question. We're going to ask these a question. Let me put this over here, ask for help. Page of Pentacles. When you guys get back together, you're probably gonna. It says you're gonna have some new experiences. Or you, I don't know. Yeah, but after betrayal, and it doesn't even look like a. It was a deceit type of. Uh, okay, ancestors. Go ahead, guys. One question. I'm about to pull these cards. All right. Ancestors, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? That wasn't good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, card ancestors. Oh. Abundance. Hmm. Abundance even lines up with this reading. Abundance comes up quite a bit. Quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. In this connection when you guys can finally work it out honestly. But this is actually, um, this was for your question. So abundance is the answer. No need to worry. Get more information. Meditation brings answers. Okay, so there's no need to worry, but you're still worried. <laughs> but meditate, and that'll help you through it, okay? All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. This is more than just a Scorpio channel, but these are Scorpio readings. We have Scorpio relationships. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.